I'm John, here's my report. Well, to reflect Seattle's reputation for reading, an advertising executive has suggested changing the city nickname from Emerald City to Bookburg. He said it would also fit in nicely with Tacoma's nickname, Bookum. <laughs> the Department of Transportation says a major earthquake could ruin the Ship Canal Bridge, and a really big quake, however, could actually improve the traffic on the 520 bridge. <laughs> A Bellevue Middle School principal received an award this past week for valuing diversity. The principal received a second award for keeping it out of Bellevue. <laughs> the Lake Washington School District is deciding whether to show a film to students called Considering Condoms. Despite complaints, school officials say it's much better than the other films they screened, ruminating on rubbers and grooving on love gloves. <laughs> Medina police impounded a car that they suspected of being a mobile drug lab. They say they became suspicious when they finally deciphered the license plate. <laughs> California sea lions guilty of eating steelhead salmon in the Ballard Locks may be captured and temporarily jailed in a program to protect the wild fish runs. When apprehended, the seals will be required to bark into a breathalyzer and balance a ball on their nose while walking a straight line. <laughs> The A1 Laundry on First Avenue has a sign that says, We accept Sonic tickets. Coincidentally, ticket gates at all Seahawks games will now post a sign that says, We accept laundry receipts. <laughs> Finally, a Supreme... Finally, a Supreme Court ruling has made it easier to prove on-the-job sexual harassment. The basic rule of thumb is, if you see Bob Packwood in the vicinity, it's sexual harassment. <laughs>